Hi, my name is Jake Brockowitz, and this screencast will walk through collecting submissions, managing results, sending emails, and posting submissions to remote servers. Start off the main forms page. I'm going to use the contact form as the starting point for this. I also want to show you a really nice Drush utility to generate submissions for testing. So I'm running Drush Web Form Generate for the contact form, and it'll go out and generate 50 submissions. And now, if I go back and hit refresh, you see the total results is 50, and we can go view them. And now I'm going to walk through viewing your submissions. This is default view. If you're familiar with web forms, you're familiar with this view. It just lists out the submissions. I'm going to call out some of the new features, which is some filtering, which you can search through these submissions. You can also check the flagging, and that's this star here, and you can flag submissions. You can also add administrative notes to submissions. And the whole row is clickable, so you can jump to a submission, you can view it and you get your metadata at the top and there are some other display modes just available that are custom a table view which is really useful for viewing and you can collapse this forms with a lot of elements it just gives you a two column layout you can view the submission as plain text you can even get a raw yaml view just giving you a kind of an idea of what's being really stored in the database moving back to managing the submissions or as i'm calling them results you have a table view which shows you all the metadata and the elements for your submission. Scroll through. It has click sorting. You can also customize this. This is kind of like an easy views or simple views. So you can control what's being displayed. So for example, you can check off everything and get every column. Or in a lot of cases, I use this to generate a report. So all I really want to do is track the ID of the submission and the actual elements. And I'm going to just click save and you now get a very simple table with only the four elements available. You can also export your submissions and now you can get into the download view and it gives you different formats and available to you and you can control all the fine grained details, what the headers displayed, what's in the columns, how you're doing it, what columns are exported. You can even say whether displayed on screen if you're trying to debug something and you can even save the settings for this export. And if you go over to admin settings in the web form module, you can control the default for this form to help people get started in the right place. Now that we've looked at submissions, I also want to go through how submissions are handled. So I'm going to go back into the form. Well, this is a, a contact form we're looking at. So the idea is you fill out the form. We use test. You fill out the form and hit submit, and it sends an email. Now going back, I want to show how that's wired. If we go in and click edit, I'm calling these handlers, and emails are just handlers. Handlers are things that handle submissions as they come through. And I have two email handlers set up for the contact form, a notification email and a confirmation email. And I can click through and you can look at it. It's very standard, it shows you the fields. You can also enable debugging, which will show you the setting, like show you the values going to the server, and you can configure whether it's going to send HTML. And this is very simple way to route your submission. Now there are other handlers available. Right now there's only two. There's a debug handler, which I'm going to just turn on. All it's going to do is show us the data going out. I'm going to hit save. You can even just demo it. Go into test. Hit send. And this is the raw data that is coming in from the form being submitted. I'm going to click back. And we're going to go and look at one more handler. It's called the remote post handler. And this is really just a base handler to get you started. And the idea is I'm going to click through. And it allows you to post your submission to a third-party server. So now this is a callback I just have to do insertions. You can use it to post to your CRM. You can, whoop, this didn't fill out. You can also post updates and saving of submissions to different servers. You can encode it as regular form encoding post, or you can use just own. And then you can control what data is being posted. By default, only the elements are being posted, because usually that's what the CRM is looking for, but you can add metadata to that. The other option that you can also do is add custom data, which might be, for example, an API key. And I'm just going to make one up. Well, actually, let's not use special characters. Let's just use numbers. I'm going to hit save. I'm also going to enable debugging. I'm going to go in and hit test, and I'm going to hit submit or send. And here's the debugger showing us the values, and then this is the remote post saying it was successful because this is a valid callback that you can work off of. 
and you're going to see that it shows you the encoding type and then it shows you the data and you can see my API key was appended to the data being posted. And now you're getting a status code with a header and you can kind of, this is helpful for debugging if there's issues. And, and this remote post handler is, is a plugin that's extendable. So you can go in and kind of extend it and even wrap it in something like an OAuth authentication wrapper or better defaults or any type of behaviors you want. It's also just a starting point to create your own custom handlers to integrate with your own applications. Hope this gets you started with collecting your submissions and posting them to remote servers. Thanks for your time.